Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're out at one of our favorite lakes with the quadcopter today. And it's cold. But today I remembered my gloves. <laughs> uh, this guy is cool to me because I like the size of this quadcopter and especially the price point. So we check out everything that comes in the box and it's it was packaged really well but we pulled everything out to charge it so uh, this is kind of thrown back in here but we have an instruction manual it's going to tell us what all the functions do although they're labeled pretty well on the transmitter we do have landing gear and prop guards with mounting screws in this bag now, i'm not going to use these because uh, I think that it will uh, slow the performance down just a little bit and reduce the flight time by maybe 20 or 30 seconds. So I'll set those off to the side, but if you're a new pilot, I encourage you to use all those things and then take off those prop guards after you get used to flying. In this bag, we have four spare props and a screwdriver. In here, we have our camera. Now the camera, we uh, got the camera version, but not the Wi-Fi version. So this is kind of like the middle level of this quadcopter. So we'll set that off to the side for now. A couple other goodies we have is the USB charger. There's gonna be a little light that tells you whether your battery is charging or charged. Here is the LiPo battery. This is a one cell 380 milliamp hour battery. So set that off to the side for now. And this is the, this is why I like this quad the quad itself it just looks really cool I like the size of this we don't get a lot in this size to show on our channel most of them are going to be micro quads so it would be like a quarter of the size of this or some quads maybe twice the size of this is your average I really like the size of this I think that's what I like the most and then the shape of it is really cool too so I'm excited to fly this just because I like the way it looks. I hope it does well. And then here's our transmitter. And I like the transmitter too because it feels really good. Ergonomically, it's a nicely sized and shaped transmitter. We have high, low camera video functions labeled. So most of your important functions here are labeled. And it looks like, I'm not sure about this, but that says up and down. That might be like an auto takeoff kind of thing, although it's not an altitude hold quad which is another reason I'm excited because we've been seeing a lot of altitude hold quads on the channel lately and this one does not have that. So just a, just a quad that I'm excited to fly. So let's get this thing in the air. All right, after I attached the camera to the bottom, I noticed that it does have a swivel. So you can aim the camera up and down a bit and uh, let's power the transmitter on first because that's the way they should be. And then the quad and we'll see if that works. The lights look really good. That's nice. I'll try to throttle up and down. Throttle up, throttle down. The lights went solid and we have power. I just want to show you the lights really quickly because they're all over it. We've got some really cool blue lights in the front. They're flashing, that's neat. Green in the back. And then on the really rear end here, we have red lights. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. I like this quad a lot, but I haven't even really done much with it yet. So let's see. Nice. I like how it looks. Now one thing that I noticed in the instructions that I thought was a bit odd is it has two flip buttons, one and two, the top trigger. That's okay. weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the top left one to see what happens. Whoa! It automatically did a front flip. Okay, <clears throat> no I didn't even get that because it gained so much altitude. It's okay, it did gain a lot. You ready to try again? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. That's all it, and then I Whew. cut back the throttle. Now it has a flip button too, so let's try it. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. That's the one letting me choose which direction. Okay, do that one more time. So three, two, one, we'll do a back flip this time. Yeah, the flips are a little funny, <laughs> but it does them. I find it odd that it has two flip buttons. That's that is strange. Really strange. It works. So one button, it just picks the way. Uh -huh. You don't even have to choose a direction. Right, the and left yeah. one is yeah, one forward either. only. Yeah. And then the right one, I can pick like any normal flip on a quad like this. It gains so much it altitude going up, for the quad. So that's why I kill the throttle at the end because if I don't hit the throttle at all, this is what it does. Three, two, one. It just keeps going up. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. It's a very interesting flip. Now, I know we have higher rates, so. Let's go to that. You are, working, you are working Sorry, me today, I'm Nathan. Farther away. Okay. It flies aggressively. I really like yes. how it flies a lot. Let's see if it has even higher rates. Nope, just the two. 
that's okay because the high one looks pretty good. Now we should have video. Let's see if the camera works. I press the video button. I'm just going to try to get a smooth shot here. That's great. Good looking good. Camera's in down some, so I may not have gotten the bridge there. Let's get a little closer. I'm trying to get the bridge like this. Hopefully I'm getting a shot of it. If it's even filming, <laughs> we'll see. If not, this is just goofy, slow flying here. It looks like we got it. Okay, let's just fly around a bit more. I love how this flies. I am in the highest rate. And it flies really nicely. That was me cutting out, by the way. I cut the throttle. I think it's fast. It is fast. I like this. I've been looking forward to flying this. Where'd you go? <laughs> Behind the tree. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even keep up with you. Oh, sorry. There we go. Have a little fun. <laughs> I like how it flies, mainly because I have total control of the throttle. Lately, we've been seeing so many altitude hold quads on the channel that it's nice and refreshing to get one that you can actually control the throttle. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's see a flip. Not bad. I, I just like the size of this a lot. I wish I had seen more quads of this of this size. It is to me is like the perfect little fly around in this kind of a space. Uh, perfect size quad for that. Just to have. Okay, let's uh, maybe try a picture. I'll turn the video off. So I'll try to get a picture of the bridge here. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Getting some wind, but it's flying in the wind, no problem. That's right through it. <clears throat> so we test your ability. I, I just I feel like this thing is meant to fly. Hit a tree. Hit some tree limbs. And then smack into this branch. Okay. okay we're still flying. <laughs> I knocked the branch out of the tree. And we're still flying, no problem. I want to hit this one up here. Probably asking to get it stuck, but. Hit it, no problem, just bounce right off. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a blinking light, which means we've probably got a low battery already. <clears throat> I'd say that's a low battery. At a 380 milliamp battery, you know, that's not gonna be a super long flight time, but you see the really flash blinking lights? I'm gonna guess that's our low battery flash indicator. Flash blinking lights. Blinking Fast flash. Fast <laughs> <laughs> You said flash blinking. Fast oh, blinking. Oh man. Trying to get, I'm getting ahead of myself. I think what I would do for this quad, because I liked flying it so much, is take the camera off and just fly it around. Now they have different models, they have different versions. If they got the basic version without the camera, which is probably the route that I should have gone, uh, then we have the camera version, and then there is a Wi Fi camera version as well. Now I'd, I'd probably want to pick up a couple extra batteries for this because I really liked flying it. I, I felt like that was a short flight time, but we were doing a lot with it too. And maybe I felt uh, like it was a short flight time because I liked flying it so much. It was about five minutes. Okay, this is kind of shorter. Four or five minutes. Uh, but that's okay. That's that was a quick charge too. If I had a few extra batteries, I'd be of that. really ha uh, happy. That's a cool looking drone, isn't yeah. it? I love how it looks, and maybe because it matches my coat. And yeah, and your gloves. And my gloves. I don't know. I just like this thing. I like it a lot. It's really cool looking. Pretty tough too because I banged it off some trees mm -hmm. and it kept going. No. Uh, no problem. Hopefully the video saved and we were able to show you guys <laughs> yeah. some of that. Yeah. Uh, all in all, this is a nice setup. I like this. I've got no complaints. Good transmitter, good quadcopter, and a really good price. If you guys want to check this out for yourself, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!